Well, here we are. Exactly one year ago today marked my very first day diving into screen printing. I had just spent like two or three months of my life completely gutting the basement of my house and rebuilding the whole thing and building it up into a usable workshop and then moving in all the new equipment that I had just got into it and setting all that up and then getting ready to finally take the dive into printing my very first shirt. Now I started screen printing very similarly to a lot of people and very differently at the same time. I started printing because of my brand 38 Rideco. I had tried every printer within my area and every single one of them either just gave me the runaround, being dodgy, not answering phone calls, emails, whatever, or they produced completely terrible quality work and I just could not have my brand name on something like that. So it was time for me to take matters into my own hands. And that's how a lot of other printers start off themselves. They either have a clothing brand or a band or some other reason where they need clothing made on a regular basis and they run into the same problems that I did and they end up purchasing equipment and getting into the business. But at the same time, I got into the business a whole lot differently because a lot of those people will start off small with a one or two color press, a flash, very basic equipment and kind of work their way up. Whereas with me, I knew that I wanted to turn this into a legitimate business from day one. I knew that I was gonna commit to it and go hard. And uh, I'm like, I hate to use the term because it's very overused these days and kind of cliche, but I'm a very like zero to 100 person. I don't just halfway do things. It's either I'm all in or I'm all out. And I went all in on screen printing equipment. I got an eight color press. I got a proper size dryer to accommodate that press. I built a full dark room. I got all the screen printing bells and whistles. And then on top of that, I got heat presses and all kinds of other stuff to really like build this into a proper space. And I hate sharing this kind of information because it feels super douchey to me, but in order to build out this space the way that I wanted to, it costs north of $50,000. And it's not like I just had this kind of money laying around. I put everything I had into this. I went into it with zero knowledge, zero experience, and took a huge risk. And if it didn't work out, I was totally fucked. But that's just how bad I wanted this and how committed I was. And of course, if you want to see any of that process, I documented the whole thing. There's a video playlist I will link right here. And you can go and check that out. Well, that leads to my very first day as a screen printer. The shop was built, everything was ready to go. It was time for me to dive in and start the process from start to finish. And let me tell you, I went into this thing way too overconfident. I had spent probably the whole year leading up to this watching screen printing videos uh, almost every single day. And by the time I was ready to print, I was like, you know what, dude, I got this. I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna kill this right off the bat. This can be no problem. And uh, I got reality checked pretty hard. <laughs> my first week or two printing was an absolute nightmare. Just everything that could have went wrong, went wrong. And by the end of those two weeks, I was just, I was so stressed out, I can't even begin to explain because I had just spent all this money building out the space and all this equipment. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I wanted to quit. And I was just like, dude, what did I do? I just, I just totally ruined myself here. And with me being a YouTuber, of course, I filmed all this stuff and now it lives on the internet for anyone to see forever. So that's awesome. And I go back and watch these videos from time to time and just like my cringe level is at absolute maximum. Like I feel like I'm gonna cringe myself into another dimension. Thankfully I didn't give up. I had to take a step back and kind of give myself a bit of a talking to like, dude, you're not as smart as you think you are. And really there's no turning back at this point. You have to figure this out. So I went into that last day of filming with a completely different mindset and thankfully figured it out. We knocked out a single color print and a two color print and everything went pretty well. And after that, I just, I felt so relieved. And also that's when I knew this is what I wanted to do because I, I enjoy challenging stuff and this was a brand new challenge for me to take on. And after that, my life completely changed. I don't know if it was the videos or the new quality products I was putting out or whatever, but the brand in the print shop just took this immediate ramped up spike and it has not slowed down ever since. And I have printed every single day since that day. And I've had to learn so much about this industry in a very, very short amount of time. I'm definitely not gonna claim that I'm a pro at this point or anything because I know there's still so much more that I have to learn and I haven't put in my 10,000 hours yet. But at the same time, it's definitely fair to say that I've crammed in probably three years worth of experience into one. Which brings me to the main point of this video is that I wanna share with you beginner to intermediate printers the top three lessons that I've learned in that time frame because I really wish somebody had told me this when I had started. <laughs> Lesson number one is patience. This is hands down the most important trait that every screen printer needs to have, especially as a beginner. And in the early stages, this is the one that I struggled with the most because definitely when I started, I had a way worse temper than I have now. And I expect nothing but excellence out of myself. So when shit started going wrong and I started failing, like it was not a sight that anybody wanted to see. <laughs> as a beginner and even as an intermediate, things are gonna go wrong a lot. You are gonna struggle with screen exposure. You're gonna have bad setups. You're gonna have problems with registration. You're gonna have curing issues. You're gonna have problems across the board. And if you don't have patience, 
you're not gonna be able to problem solve these things. In the beginning, somebody told me that as a printer, most of your job is gonna be problem solving and they could not have been more right about that. So without a certain level of patience, you're not gonna be able to be level-headed and be quick on your feet to, to solve a lot of these issues. And that's when one of two things are gonna happen. Either those people give up completely and just get out of the business, or those are the people that end up just putting out trash work because they don't care about it. And those people don't last much longer in the industry either because nobody wants their stuff. Patience 100% can be learned if you want it bad enough. And I still learn more about it every single day. I'm finding myself not freaking out about the same stuff that I used to. And if I can learn patience, pretty much anybody can. Number two is learn everything. And I mean everything. Of course, putting in the time on press is half the battle and extremely important, but if you're only putting in the time on press, you're not really learning anything new. You're not taking in any new information. So you're basically just pissing in the wind at that point. You need to be out there absorbing every bit of information you can, watching videos, talking to other printers, reading blogs, all that stuff. This is definitely the reason that I've gotten to where I'm at in such a short time. When I'm not printing, I'm talking to other printers, I'm combing the internet, searching for every piece of information that I can find. And when it comes to screen printing, there is so much stuff to know about every step of the process. It's really mind boggling when you think about it. You could print every day of your life for 30 years and not know everything about it. And if you run into anybody that tells you they know everything about screen printing, I will show you a dirty liar. One word of advice though, is to make sure you're getting your information from either reputable sources or people that you feel like you can trust. For example, I'm not gonna name any names or anything, but in like the screen printing Reddit threads and Facebook groups and things like that, you've got two things going on a lot of the time. You've got either beginners giving information to other beginners, which is great, don't get me wrong. It definitely is awesome to see when that works out right. But a lot of the time you're also gonna see those people having the wrong information to begin with. And then the person trying to help them also has the wrong information. And then it's just, it's being perpetuated over and over again. And those people are never getting things done the right way. Or this one's the worst. And this is the one that really chaps my ass when I see it. And I see it far too often is that sometimes you're gonna have the pros helping the beginners. And a lot of the time these pros are definitely gonna set you on the right path and help you out and I can definitely vouch for that because in the beginning a lot of them did that for me and I'm truly grateful for that but at the same time you're gonna see some other pros who definitely do not have your best interest in mind I see them feeding misinformation and sarcasm and just basically a bunch of bullshit to people who are looking for help because they don't want to help train the competition and Fair play to that because business is a big competition, but at the same time, if you don't wanna help these people, just don't say anything, don't be a dick. <laughs> this is gonna make me go off on a whole other thing, so I better stop because I could literally make a whole video on this topic, it pisses me off so bad, but just make sure you're getting your information from reputable sources. We live in the information age these days. We have literally every bit of knowledge at our fingertips in a stupid little slippery germ brick that lives in our pockets. So just make sure you're putting in the time and learning every single bit about this business that you can when you're not actually Printing. And the third and final tip that I can give you is think outside the box. Of course, there are a few certain things that you have to follow, but at the same time, there is not a screen printing rule book out there. Don't let anybody tell you that this is the way that you have to do things, this is the law of screen printing. That's bullshit. At the end of the day, what really matters is the quality of the product that you're making and how happy your customer is with it. And how you get to that point does not matter at all. So if you think you've got a better or different way of doing things, don't be afraid to explore it. Do not worry about what anybody has to say about it. There are a lot of people in this industry that have only learned one way of doing things and they follow that as law. And they're gonna let you know about it because believe me, they tell me in the comments all the damn time. But I can tell you that a lot of the outside of the box stuff that I've come up with around here have either greatly improved my speed, improved the quality, or in sharing it on this channel, have definitely helped out a lot of other people. So don't be afraid to toss that proverbial rule book out the window and explore some other stuff. But man, one year as a screen printer, I, I can't believe how fast that went by. It feels like only a couple months ago I was setting up that press in my basement and slightly shitting my pants about figuring out how to use it. And now here we are, taking on more and more challenging stuff and growing this thing to the point that I gotta move it out of here into a bigger building and looking at new equipment and just all kinds of crazy stuff going on. At no point in my life would I have ever guessed that I would become so obsessed and so passionate about printing a damn t-shirt, but I don't know, I just, I can't explain it. There's something about it in every step of the process that once you get bitten by the bug, it's it's there and it's all you can think about. A lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. Getting into screen printing has had such a positive impact on my life. I can't even begin to explain how grateful I am for it. And it's also brought a lot of opportunities my way to work with really cool companies and people and all that. So. If you're even on the fence about getting into screen printing or if you're already printing and you wanna take it more seriously, just do it. Trust me on this, if you follow those three tips I gave, you will not regret it. But this is only the beginning, man. There is a whole world of screen printing out there left to discover and I want to explore and learn all of it. So year two, bring it.
We'll see you guys in the next one.